Hello, and welcome to a special episode of Tom and Martian Tour Reviews, where Matt gets touched in his bad place, and we review some toys. In this episode, we got the Star Wars Boba Fett prototype, and Marvel Universe 2-pack, Wonder Man, and Quicksilver. Enjoy. First up on the review docket this evening, we have the Marvel Universe 2-pack with Quicksilver and Wonder Man. And I promised Matt that we would hurry up with this review because his buzz is starting to wear off. It's going fast. Magic juice. The funny. Yeah, doing the funny stuff, stuff is, is going to be gone soon. Let's do it. Like our ratings. And this should, yeah. Every time. Yeah, it's going and down. this should be pretty quick because we have Quicksilver and he's super fast, ladies. That's right. He's in and out. In and out. No time. Before you even know it. That's yeah, kind of dangerous. You know it. He's like a serial rapist. Well, he's got stuff to do. He's got yeah. things to do, you know. He can't He can't spend a whole day making love. Yeah, he's got to like work on yeah. that sweet fucking fat, uh, bad hair. That's true, too. With the wing tips. Yeah. He's not like Wonder Man. He can just walk around all the time looking like Brandon Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does kind of look like Brandon Ruth. <laughs> Wearing tank top all the time yeah. with a big W on it. Yeah. Wonder Man, bitch. Anyway. Make you wonder. So what's up with this packaging? This tell package, us about your package, man. I'm gonna tell you all about my package. Let's talk about measurements. Three inches long. Erect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this package. Let's talk about this package. This guy is clear on the front. Why? Why do they do that, Jason? Why do you think they do that? I have no idea why do they. Do You're that? wrong. You're so wrong. It's because you can see the figures. You got to see the figures in here. So you know what you're buying. So you know what the fuck. It's not a because box. They can put anything in there. If, they can if put, they didn't make it they clear. They can put anything on the... They can put this on here. They're not legally bound to have that in there, though. It could be it could be Captain America and uh, the Falcon in here, for all you know. That's, and that's true. why they have the package, so you can see what this is. And then yeah. there's a comic in the back, This too. ain't no designer toy here. This is... this is uh, Down and dirty. Walmart, bitch. Yeah, Walmart. That's right. Maybe Target on a good day. On a good day. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, Alright, so what else we have? So on the back side here, you have the uh, picture of what the figure should look like. I kind of doubt that's what they're really going to look like. No, they're... Yeah, those are, the, <laughs> this the ones on the back have, look really good. Really yeah, these good. look really nice. I would buy these toys. Oh, yeah. But these toys, I'd let him buy. Yeah. And talk about it on the show. Those are actually probably two ups. <laughs> those are figures. <laughs> That'd be my guess. And then, uh, you know, you have other pictures here of uh, Power Man and Iron Fist. They suck. And, um... Uh, Bullseye and Daredevil. Yeah, they suck dick. They suck dick. Um, yeah, so yeah, and it talks about a little bit on the bottom here, a little what's going on in the Which comic. Which is great, because I don't know shit about Wonder Man. And I, it doesn't tell you anything about Wonder Man. Oh. It tells you about what's going on in this comic. Instead of having you read the comic, it just tells you what the fuck's going on. Well, I seriously doubt the comic. If it's like every other comic pack, the comic that's on the front is not the comic that's on the inside. It has nothing to do with it. Nope. So, yeah. It is what it is. Um, and then awesome artwork here of Wonder Man and Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. and that's about it. If you've seen a Marvel Universe 2-pack, you've seen them all. I mean, There's really nothing spectacular about this one. Yeah. So I guess let's get to open it and hope that they don't fall apart. Yep. Let's do it. Good luck. All right, and we are back with these um, pretty shitty figures. Yeah. The good news, it would seem that this comic is indeed what it's supposed to be, although we won't know for sure as I don't know how to read. Yeah, I don't really care to read it, so I could care less about the West Coast Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, first up is Quicksilver, who is the highlight of the pack because Quicksilver is actually a uh, pretty cool character. And he's not broken. No, he's not broken. And um, But as far as the figure goes, he's basically the generic um, generic uh, body that they've reused a thousand times over. Um, just painted differently with a different head, with a more of a Quicksilver head. But overall, I like the paint scheme and the detail is fine, and, but he has the same generic, just generic, you know? Exact same body that they've mm -hmm. used a thousand times. Spider-Man has the body, 
Daredevil has Magneto that body. is dead. Magneto has the body. Yeah, like everybody has that same body. Yep. So it's kind of frustrating. You know, you pay this money for a figure that's literally the exact same mold. They pop a new head on and give it a different paint scheme. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I think Hasbro's running some racket over there. It's some bullshit. Yeah. They're running a racket. They're stealing our money, goddammit. They're basically stealing our money. Man, we need we to should, occupy Hasbro. We should Take occupy all the Hasbro. Toys. So censor Hasbro. Yep. Bitches. Yeah, that's right. You need to make brand new sculpts with every figure you release. Every single one. Even if, even in the comics, if they have <laughs> about pay, the same, same pay, body type. I don't care if it's $20. Well, I guess I do. Because yeah, you I do. To, well, because you're a toy collector, so you, that means you're cheap. I'm a cheap asshole. Yep. So that's yeah. why you have to do this sort of thing. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah. But God damn it, really? But I mean, if you if you like Quicksilver, which I do, I think he's a really cool character. Um, this parent. is a great pack. Great two pack. They, they've already released a Scarlet Witch too, haven't they? So I think so, yeah. Yeah, so now you have um, the brother and sister duo and they have a couple of Magnetos They're out there They're weird, too. incestual yeah. sort of relationship. So you can, um, you can uh, recreate the, um, I don't know, Brotherhood of Mutants, or the West Coast Avengers, or was that, was or the incest- regular Avengers, or the X Men, or the all the other teams that these or guys like have been in. Your, what was that incest movie from the eighties about the brother and sister that lived in an flowers attic? in the attic? Yeah, you recreate <laughs> flowers in the attic with these two. Um, Weirdos. I mean, that might be what you do, but I don't think the average person does. You wish Jay was a girl, don't you? Not at all. Yeah, uh, that's gross. Well, he is on, on the inside. <laughs> on the inside, in his heart of hearts. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about Wonder Man. <laughs> well, the best thing about this toy is that it's got sweet, permanent hand losing action. <laughs> yeah, that's right. His just, hands are removable. But just, the problem is you can't reattach them. Just though. like in real life, when you lose your hand, it's not coming back. <laughs> but the cool thing is, guess it turns into thing from the Adams family. It, it just does. Right back on it there. Does. Yep. Oh, yes, man. Matt. Uh, Matt broke my figure while while he was trying to. Um, and I made him think hand. it was an accident. Yeah, he just ripped that shit off. Fuck you! But that, that's not the first uh, Marvel Universe figure I've, I've had lose a hand, so it's not too surprising. Still got one left for that. All he time. does. Yeah. I got some super glue. I think I could but, fix it. But yeah, like, I mean, I guess the Wonder Man all in all is not bad. It looks like Wonder Man from the comics, which is really mm-hmm. cool. It looks like a Warpath body, maybe Century. Yeah, it really yeah. does. I mean, honestly. The, the little bit larger. If you paint him blue male and red. body. Paint him blue and red, and he's basically Warpath. Yeah. So, kind of like, but yeah, he's got that bigger body. They don't like, these are just open, t- oh, God, like, jar like he, he opening, titty squeezing, mammogram and hands. And uh, they really need to be fists, because he's a puncher, all right? Yeah. He is not a, no. a gripper. He can do the back rake. Maybe that's his finishing wrestling move. Oh, my God! Oh! Yeah, exactly. Cripple. Done. That's what a man with one hand can do, boy. <laughs> Imagine what he could do with both. Yeah, if he had him. But he yeah. lost him in a tragic cheese grating accident. That's right. But don't worry, after this review, I will retcon it, and he will have two hands again. Super glue? Yep, with Maybe. some super glue. You go, bitch. That's right. But once again, he's just a repainted, um, same body, repainted sculpt. Yeah. Balls it. So His head might be new. I don't know. I don't recognize it. But it looks like a Superman. I don't recognize anything, so I don't fucking know. His head looks like he's Superman or something. He does look like Superman a little bit. I don't know shit about Wonder Man. I really don't care enough to learn anything about Weird him. Weird so. powers. Makes me wonder why I care. Yeah. Why is it his power? Well, at least, at least we why got is a, he in this um, comic? At least we got a thing from... Uh, from the Adams family, for your burgeoning Adams family, you know you can go with the monsters for a little while until you get some Adams ah, family characters. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So I guess that's it for these guys. That's it. Sorry, but you know we can only work with what we got. Yeah, it is what it is. Once again, it is contest time here at the Tommy Morrison Toy Reviews. One lucky winner will receive a Bastilia Sean unopened Star Wars action figure, courtesy of AtomicMartians.com. All you have to do to enter is submit a photo of Matt dressed as either a Jedi or add him to a existing scene in Star Wars. The deadline for entry is February 24, 2012, and the winner will be selected at random. Make sure to visit www.atomicmartians.com for all contest rules and requirements. Watch out, it's White Boba Fett! Coming in for the next review. Now, this limited edition figure depicts the first costume ever produced for Boba Fett. The all-white armor reflects the character's initial concept as a super trooper before he evolved into the bounty hunter he is today. I think that's kind of BS. I think it's just, hey, 
We wanted to do some stuff before I finished painting this thing. So here it is, all sweet and plaster colored. There it is. This prototype was designed this prototype design was unveiled on June 28, 1978, in a screen test shot being worn by the assistant film editor for the Empire Strikes Back. In the 20-minute screen test, the sound designer describes the myriad weapons and features on this armored uniform for George Lucas and the Star Wars crew. For the first time ever, we have created this special action figure to commemorate the birth of this favorite character from the Star Wars saga. It's always weird to me how popular Boba Fett was, considering how very little he did in the movies. Yeah, he was I mean, what did he do? Like... I held a gun. I, wa- I, I walked behind a frozen thing. He's been like, after Han Solo for so long, just a regular ass person, and he has to go to like Darth Vader. He, he's like such a little bitch move here. They used to go to Darth Vader to get him to capture and freeze him in carbonite for him. You done talking? Or you want to do this whole review by yourself? I'm just I'm sorry. I'm just asking a question. Oh, oh, really? Well, you want to talk about the Sarlacc pick? Sarlacc pit? No, not at all. All right, well, I'll talk about how much of a bitch thing that is. <laughs> and then on top of that, the Sarlacc pit. How does he die? A blind guy hits his backpack and sends him flying into the Sarlacc pit. Now, supposedly he comes back, but... What the hell? Well, no, no, no. I thought according to George Lucas, he died. Or he's still there. And George Lucas changes his mind, dude. Yeah. All it, the Jay, time. You know why for that? Don't rain me. Some M O N E Y. Make it rain. Make it rain bitch. Making it rain in Republic credits. Anyway, I think I think the reason Boba Fett hung around is just because he looks so badass. He does look really bad. Which I think is a lesson to everybody. Looks are the most important thing. I like how they say this is the first time that they made a prototype Boba Fett like this, but um, didn't they make a Macquarie version that was all white too? Yeah, but it wasn't the prototype costume from the movie. It was just like the Macquarie design. Is what oh, it was. bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. This is just, this is just, it's just dickering over little teeny shit here. What was that word again? Dickering. Dickering. You heard it here first. I-N-G. Dickering. There you go. <laughs> You're dickering around, young fellow. You heard it here first. That's the important Just thing. Just over a little teeny tiny so, yeah. stuff. So basically, this toy here is something I sent away for it. I had a, uh, I bought a bunch of Star Wars figures all in one day, and it took me about three months to finally buy postage to mail the letter out. Because <laughs> he I, spent all his money on those like little figures. <laughs> so I'm, I mailed him off. He was begging for food on the streets, <laughs> saving up for that damn postage. God damn it! Give me a quarter, man. <laughs> give me a quarter, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> hey. Hey, you did it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, so we he, fought, he came that. in and in surprisingly good condition considering Hasbro. So this is a picture of Boba Fett in his white, I call bullshit armor. I'm sure they're just getting ready to paint it. And they're like, well, it's almost ready. And oh, some guns. That Here's some toy guns I bought and spray painted. Gotcha. I think it's funny that they put Kenner on here. And Kenner never ever made a figure like this. No, Kenner could give two shits. But uh, it's part of that whole retro bullshit. Yeah. I it's like a what it. if toy. You know, it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm making fun of it, but I do actually like the whole retro look. It's just give credit where credit's due, and Kenner doesn't get any credit for this guy. Yeah, exactly. They never made a white Boba Fett. Just like Darth Maul shouldn't get a Kenner on there. No. Darth Maul shouldn't have it. Um, Lots of other people that... Hayden uh, Christian... I'm Hayden just, Christian's aunt. I'm just too buzzed to remember right now. Yeah, sure. So, um, we'll take that. So let's just open open the toy. Yeah. Let's get this shit sandwich on the road. Alright, so here he is, the prototype Boba Fett out of package. Finally. And uh, he looks pretty sweet. You know, I know we were giving this figure a whole lot of shit, and uh, deservedly so, but I am really happy with the amount of detail that's been put into this guy because he's a mail-away figure. Uh, yeah. But he looks really good, and it, he should be because I had to buy five other toys to get this fucking thing. Yeah. Um, so let's talk, you know, he's got the sweet... Black, I mean, real fucking complicated color scheme here. Black, white, and gray. But still, it's nice to see a little bit of effort put in. A little just accents just here on the hair. Just barely there. Um, the black accents here on the, the uh, gauntlets here on both arms. And then also we look at the jet pack. He's got some nice half-painted... Wow, look at that. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Oh, and his little rocket here, it's like a quarter of it's painted at the base of the rocket. Like the little black spiral thing here is like quarter of it's painted and the rest is all white you know what it's because it's charging up that's the one quarter <laughs> it's or it's almost done and it's done when it's all white boba you got one jump left make it count because otherwise this thing is useless you don't have enough fuel to be flying around all the time i don't know you're not the rocketeer man 
This gasoline like, just doesn't grow on trees. This space gas doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> but uh, on top of that, well, so, you know, surprisingly insightful from Hasbro. Yeah. Uh, but on top of that, like, some little details on the rocket launcher. That's pretty cool. Very neat. And then it comes with these two pistols, which I'm pretty sure you can find in a lot of, um, of the Star Wars, like, if you buy, like, the Stormtroopers or something. They're pretty generic looking. I'm try- I'm still trying to figure out why the pistol has a little shoulder rest on it. It's the original Noisy Cricket from oh. Men in Black. Oh. This was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So they brought it over and they said, hey, check this, we call it the Noisy Cricket. This shit's old to us, but it's probably going to be like the fucking Nintendo to you people. And they're like, this is great. We can make it smaller. Thank you, Steve Jobs. He helped them make it smaller. So pretty cool. Awesome little feature on this figure. The visor clip goes down. Watch right. Very cool. Very awesome. They've done it with a single Boba Fett, I don't think. I yeah. not that I know. One complaint, though. Let's hear it. Is that you put the visor down and you can't even tell it's in front of his eye. They should have put like a little, like a, a couple little colored dots or something on there to let you know it's an aiming mechanism. But they, that's how they do it on the front of the package, even. It's got like a little red laser pointer on it. So just a little red dot to let you know something's different. Hey, there's something there in front of his eye. His black visor his black aimer yeah uh, another cool feature here if we we show drop it off oh there's no dumb stupid clone head fucking head under there it's just nothing how it always should have been who's boba fett what's he look like the world may never know how you know many what? looks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop i don't know and i don't want to know no not supposed to know because you know what the best part is the mystery yeah um, anyway, getting over here to the design of the figure, very cool. You know, looking at the package and the original concept of all white boba, it's very easy to see why they threw some color in there. Because honestly, this this would have looked super chintzy. This like like they'd be like, come on, I know it's 1980, but give me a break here, man. So this they had to throw some strong. color in there and make him look a little better, and it, it worked out. It worked to their benefit. Um, but still, this looks really great on the figure. This translates much better into a toy now than it would have um, 30, 31 years ago. 32 oh, yeah, years it would have been just a big hunk of bla- uh, white plastic. Yeah, so this looks a lot better. The character never would have been as popular as he was without the color. Um, like Matt was saying earlier, great detail and everything. What I think is really neat is this insignia on the back of his little scarf dealy. Oh, I don't know what that, that is, is, but it looks cool. I'm sure it has something to do with the uh, Super Stormtrooper motif they were going for back in the day. Um, very cool. Few little discrepancies though. This figure has got the little Wookie braid on there that he wore in the movies. The prototype, according to the pictures that I see here, did not have the Wookie braid on it. That's some bullshit. Also, this figure very clearly has a dent in the helmet. But looking at the pictures that we have, this helmet is dent free. Dent fucking free. So. Again, it's a nice, it's, let's, let's call it what it is. It's a repaint it's of a re- just the regular Boba they did. They, nothing wrong with that. Just calling it what it is. It's not like they, you know, guys, I've got a great idea. We need to, we need to do a whole new mold for Boba and do the prototype. And basically it's a bet, you know, it's a non dinged up helmet and no Wookiee braids. Yeah. And they're like, dude, that's going to cost way too much. It's not like they did that. They just said, easy, you know, here's a little something for the fans. Yeah, here's a little something for the fans. It's not going to quite please them because it's not necessarily right. But, but they're gonna, picky motherfuckers. But we're going to say it's for the fans anyways. Because I'm a son of a bitch. But yeah, that's Boba. He's definitely worth it if you, you know, got the money to go buy five other Star Wars figures and sell it, send in the UPCs. Yeah. And pay for shipping and handling. Pay for postage. But know. really, I'd probably just go to eBay and buy it off a of scalper. I mean, you probably buy it for just as much. And then you don't have to do any of the work. Any of that fucking leg work. So, yeah, that's about it. What is it? God, I don't know where we're at. All right, fuck it. We, just, we get into the intro. All right, the outro. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to do this. All right, this has been another episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. I'm at this Boba Fett and other shit. And, oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.